Today in the Pedal Vault, the This Heavy Earth Titan. The Titan is advertised as a preamp sweetener, and this basically means that we have uh, additional presence and resonance control here in case your amp doesn't have one or in case you're using a preamp pedal that doesn't have it or you're doing whatever and simply need presence and resonance. So <laughs> we have of course presence, resonance, then we have on off switches for both and we have a nice looking artwork with the dragon and the sea creature here. I think this is my most favorite This Heavy Earth artwork so far. Uh, we have foot switch and internally with two controls, one for the LED brightness and one for the level. So if for whatever reason we need more or less level, we can dial it in here. And now let's head over to the EQ curve. So as you can see, the LEDs are red. This means that they're deactivated so we only have the volume boost and it's actually a huge volume boost and as you can see nothing happens here okay so let's activate below and there's a small bump around 150 160 And now above. Very high shelf. Okay. So let's look at volume here. It's fully activated. Can basically make it silent. Okay, let's leave it at factory settings or default settings. Okay, nothing more to show you here. Let's find out how this pedal actually sounds. Since this is not a typical pedal, I won't do a typical audio playthrough. But furthermore, I will only do uh, distorted sounds because I want to try this in front uh, with a distorted channel and not with a clean channel. And um, so everything you hear is basically the same signal chain. It's my custom XTN Fangen into the specific pedal or the specific amp and then into the Titan. It's either after the pedal or in the FX loop of the amp. And then we go into Nadir. It's the IR loader I use on a regular basis. And I've selected the Jens Bogren Greasy Beard IR. So we have four different pedals I wanted to use the Titan with. First of all, we have the PayPass pedals Bare Metal Fury. And I opted for this pedal because, well, I always thought it was missing a presence control. And what better way to test if the Titan could fix the problems of this pedal. Second, I chose the Boss Metal Zone Wassercraft, simply because it's a very well-known pedal and lots of you guys have it. And, well, let's find out how you can improve it. The third pedal is the Black Cat Amps Gent Tonic. And well, it's simply because I wanted to use some kind of boutique distortion pedal and that's it. The fourth pedal is from This Heavy Earth and it's the Flash Rod. And I use it because she had told me that he especially likes the combination of the Flash Rod into the Titan. As far as amps go, I opted for my Marshall Origin 20 that was heavily modified by Coven amplifications. And that's because for some reason I didn't want a depth mod because 
I don't know why. And uh, so I, most of the time I think to myself, it has a bit too less bass and maybe the Titan can fix it. Every pedal and every amp was pre-dialed, so you see the settings that I basically dialed in to get the best sound without the Titan, and then I will activate the Titan and play with it. The settings of the coffin uh, you could see when I showed the footage of the coffin. I can say that I really like the way the Titan works. It isn't as drastic as I feared, but it's not too subtle. I especially like how musical the well presence or the above setting is and how musical the below setting is as well. It's not overwhelming. It's well in the <laughs> right amount, I think. Although the below could have been more extreme, but that's just my taste and it's 
totally okay the way it is. What I do like is the ease of use. You can basically activate or deactivate the specific bands and then blend it and then you're good. What I especially like is the ability to change the overall volume. However, it's an internal trim port and I think I would have preferred if it were an outer knob as well. So, I mean, for me, it's not a problem. I simply dial it in a set and forget. But I suppose some guys want to play around with it and then you always have to open the case. Uh, might be a bit annoying, but it's a minor issue. So, what do you think about the Titan? And uh, do you own one? Do you own the Depth Finder that's basically the same approach, yet different? Do you own any other amp enhancer or how you want to call those pedals. Um, anyways, let me know down in the comment section. And uh, if you want to support this channel, you might want to check out the links in the description. I have some affiliate links and you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. And with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my Instagram. May the force be with you and have a nice day.